We're good to go. Mm -hmm. good. The link between skin cancer and sun exposure has long been established. The radioactivity of uranium has also long been known to cause cancers. However, there is a less radioactive form of uranium that must be considered. Depleted uranium, which comes from making enriched uranium, which we use for energy. Uh, depleted uranium was used in the Gulf War for tank armor and ammunition and is still being used in the military today. Um, people exposed include miners, processors, and military personnel. Although considered a slightly toxic metal, it is not yet considered a cancer-causing chemical or a carcinogen. This project looks at the combined exposure of um, sunlight and depleted uranium on the skin. Combined exposure studies are more realistic than single exposure studies because in our lives we're more likely being exposed to more than one thing at a time. My research group is looking at whether or not sunlight can activate uranium, causing it to have different types of DNA damage that would normally be expected for each exposure alone. Interestingly, uranium is the only metal with this sunlight activation capability. Depleted uranium by itself is not known to cause skin cancer, but the question we want to answer is, can sunlight activate uranium, giving it the potential to do so? When you are exposed to two separate things, the result is analogous to 2 plus 2 equals 4. We have seen results that closely resemble 2 plus 2 equals 10 when cells are exposed to depleted uranium and sunlight. When a cell undergoes damage to its DNA, it must be repaired. Much like the bones in our body are repaired, DNA is repaired in cells. If not, the cell will die. Sometimes, the cell can fix the damage incorrectly, and then the cell can live on and propagate this damage to future cells. Unfortunately, we cannot see inside the cell to see what is going on, so we must rely on biochemical methods to gather our information. So, the purpose of my project is to look further at DNA damage and cellular death by looking at how the cell recognizes the damage and then decides how to act. I take proteins inside the cell with reflective cell markers. I then hit the cell with light, and the light that comes back from the cell marker gives me an idea of how the cell is responding to damage. My results show that when cells are exposed to uranium and sunlight, the cell death is greater than each exposure alone. However, not all the cells are dying, and this supports the idea of sustained cellular damage, which can lead to cancer down the road. Um, a lot of lab research uses unrealistically high doses to induce a result. In contrast, my research project uses realistic doses. The dose of sunlight used in my project is equivalent to an hour spent outside on a typical flag staff day in June. The dose of uranium closely resembles levels of uranium in contaminated water sites in Arizona. My research is important because skin cancer rates in the southwest are increasing, a place where people might be exposed to high levels of uranium and sunlight. Thank you.